Hey party animals, it's Holly the Twister Sister here with another balloon tutorial for you guys. I'm very excited to show you this one because I've been avoiding making this for literally years. This is the one thing that you will most assuredly get asked for as a joke as a balloon twister. Make me a bicycle clown! Yes! The bike. We've all been asked to make a bike. Make me a bike clown. We know the famous line. It's not funny anymore. <laughs> but people still will ask you this. How many years has it been since that movie came out? Anyway, I've been avoiding sitting down and working on a really good bike tutorial because I haven't had a good bike design. Um, and my mind just does not think in like vehicles and, and mechanics and, and how things like it just was like how do I I don't even know the shape of a bike in my head animals and people and mythological things like I can picture it in my head but a bike I'm like it has two wheels and I don't really understand how the rest of it works <laughs> but I was determined I sat down I stared at some bike pictures kind of got some of the geometry in my head and so now I have a really cool bike balloon that I'm really excited to share with you guys. And this is one that I'll remember how to make and I'm looking forward to adding it to my menu. So what balloons are you gonna need to make this design? Only four. And they are smashing that like button. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I gotta throw that in a video every single time. But yes, please do smash the like button. It really does help me out here on YouTube. But in all seriousness, we're only going to need four balloons for this, all 260s, and we don't need to do any Sharpie art, so it's fantastic. I've got two reds are going to be the body of my bike. I've inflated them both with about a three. You can probably go anywhere from two to four inches on this tail here. doesn't have to be exact on these guys. And then I've pre-inflated my two black 260s for the tires. You could wait until you build out the body of your bike to kind of really see what size tires will look the best. But I've inflated these just for the video's sake. And I've done about, well, I try to get them the same size. Stretch this guy out here to make them about the same size. Um, I've tried to do about, there's about a, a good hand's length on the tail there, the uninflated tail. So I don't know if that's six, five inches, something like that. Um, if you're into the metric measurements, I'm sorry, I can't help you. <laughs> Actually, I have a chart on my wall here. So maybe 12 and a half centimeters. Okay, let's go ahead and get started with this bike. So cool. So we're going to start with our two red balloons and we're going to start with the handlebars and work our way down the body of the bike. So get your two red balloons together and however big you want the handlebars to be, that's where you're gonna make this first twist. We're just gonna twist both balloons together in a basic twist, the size that you want the handlebars to be. Just like that, okay? Now we're gonna take one of these balloons, doesn't matter which one, and we're gonna do one pinch twist. So I'm gonna do a small round bubble. We're gonna kind of fold everything over so we can get our hands around that small round bubble and then just wrap it around itself to create your little pinch twist like that okay or squeeze your balloons out soften them up a little bit this next part of the bike doesn't need to be very large so i'm going to bring both balloons down together and we're going to twist them together again maybe about an inch and a half or two inches down like that Okay, now we're gonna do another single pinch twist. Either one of these balloons you can use for that. So a small round bubble, fold that over, do your little pinch twist. Okay, now this next part of the bike is gonna be like, I don't know what it's called, but it's like the spoke or something in the first tire. It's the thing that's going into the middle of the first tire or wheel. Um, and so my wheels are probably not gonna be very big, um, so I'm going to make this part kind of on the short side. It doesn't need to be huge. So I'm going to do about a one or two inch bubble, kind of about the same size as this section up here. So one of those, we're going to do a small round bubble, make that a pinch twist. Okay, and then we're going to come back up here. So we need another bubble the same size as this one. You can eyeball that out and twist it first, or you can just fold this balloon up and then twist that all together 
into that middle pinch twist. So we have three pinch twists here, one, two, three, and then the remaining two balloons will be coming out the back, one on top of the other, just like this. Okay, so that is gonna be the front of our bike. I know it doesn't look anything like a bike yet, but just wait, all right, the magic is about to happen. <laughs> so, on studying bikes, um, and figuring out how to make this easy for my brain to remember what they look like. Um, it's really just two triangles. That's the secret. That's what I figured out. It's just two triangles back to back. So the first triangle is going to be a little bit more um, elongated and larger. And then the triangle on the back is smaller. You can think of it as being um, an equal sides triangle where all the sides are the same size. So it's a little bit smaller. Okay. So this first triangle we're gonna do, we're gonna make um, our two elongated sides with our remaining balloons. So I'm gonna come about a short hot dog's length on, the, on both balloons here. Try to get these two bubbles about the same size. So we've twisted two bubbles here. We're gonna take the remaining balloon from the bottom and bring it up to the top, okay? And you want this side to be a little bit shorter, definitely shorter than these elongated sides, okay? So this one's gonna be about half the length of these guys. So right here, we're gonna go ahead and twist that into the top. Okay, so there you can see our first triangle. Now we've got our two balloons up top. We wanna go ahead and make the seat of our bicycle at this point, which is just a loop. There are ways you could probably get fancier with this, but I'm just gonna fold my balloon over here to make a loop. And that will give us the look, the idea of a seat, all right? Even though it probably wouldn't be very comfortable to sit on. Maybe it's like the back of the seat or something. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna make our second triangle, which is gonna go right here. So we're gonna have this triangle and then another triangle here, and this triangle is the smaller one. So we wanna go ahead and take both of our balloons together for the next two sides of this second triangle. And we're gonna make the sides on this triangle about the same size bubble as this one that's going across here. Okay, so I've got my first two bubbles twisted together here, um, but I want to put a pinch twist here because this triangle is actually going to be going into the middle of the back wheel. Okay, so whichever balloon you have more uninflated tail left on it to work with, that's the one you wanna do this pinch twist in. So I'm gonna use this balloon, make myself a nice round bubble, fold that over and twist that bubble around itself, make a little pinch twist, okay? We're gonna take the rest of our two remaining balloons and they're gonna come down to meet this spot right here. So I might just eyeball this first and see where they hit put my hand there as a marker and then go ahead and twist in that spot. And we're gonna have a tiny little bubble, which might work as a kickstand or a foot pedal. <laughs> and I'm just gonna take that tiny little bubble and we're just gonna thread it through that corner of the triangle to lock it in there. Now straighten everything up so you can really get a sense of what you have at this point. Okay, so now it's starting to look more like a bicycle body. Um, hopefully it does at this point because we're really done with the body. <laughs> I'm just gonna open up this um, loop here for the seat a little bit. I just feel like it needs that little flattening, a little bit of widening of it. Okay, so to straighten everything out and you can really see how this is coming along. Now, what I'm gonna do here, so we've got this little thing, which is great, I feel like for a um, a pedal. We're not really putting pedals and all that on this bike, but having something there is kind of gives that um, sense of having a pedal. <laughs> and then this other one on this side will actually make a great kickstand and help our bike to actually stand on its own. We're going to wait until we put the wheels on first so we can see where this hits the ground and where we need to cut it off. Okay, so put this down for a second and grab one of your black balloons. I'm going to go ahead and squeeze this guy out just a little bit to make it a little bit softer and squishier. What we're gonna do to attach our black is we want we don't wanna see any knots or pinches in our wheels. We just wanna see a nice fully inflated round tire that looks like it goes all the way around. 
So to do that, we're actually gonna thread the nozzle of our black balloon right through these two bubbles on the front of our bike at the bottom here. Now, these aren't very big, but we're not trying to get the whole black balloon through there. We're just trying to really get the nozzle through so we can tie it to the end of the balloon. So I'm just gonna open those up a little bit and I've got my nozzle through, okay? Now I'm gonna take my balloon and I'm gonna kind of circle it around and if I did it right here, that would be way too big. That tire would not look proportional unless we're doing like monster bikes or something, I don't know. <laughs> so I'm gonna bring this up where I think I want the tire size to be and I'm gonna make a twist. Okay, so I've got that twisted. I'm gonna take that nozzle and wrap it around that twist once or twice, hold everything together. And I'm going to grab some scissors really quick. Since my hand is busy holding all this together, I don't wanna rip it off, cause then I'd have to let go of that. And I really don't wanna let go of that right now. So now I've um, deflated the rest of that balloon. I'm gonna tie these two tails together in a nice double knot. Make sure your knot is pulled nice and tight, but not too tight that you rip your balloon. And we're gonna cut off the excess tails and then we're gonna hide that tail inside of our red balloons. So it doesn't really look like that black balloon has a knot in the middle of it anywhere. You guys see what I'm going with that? Now you need to shape your black balloon out a little bit just by kind of uh, squeezing it, rounding it out to give it a nice circular shape. So you guys see that? That is the front wheel for our bike. Isn't it looking good? <laughs> We're gonna do that same thing with our back tire. So squeeze out your black balloon, make it nice and soft and squishy. The only thing with this black balloon is it needs to go through this and this. So two red double bubbles. <laughs> so it's a little bit more difficult to do the back tire, but with a little practice and a nice soft squishy black balloon, you can do it. So we're gonna go ahead and pull this guy down through that first, first red bubble. And now the second one, we really just need to get the nozzle through. So there we've got the nozzle sticking out, ready to wrap our black around and find out what size is gonna be just right for our bike. I think that looks good right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap the nozzle around my remaining black balloon. So that's all wrapped together. I'm gonna hold onto that with one hand while I cut off my tail here at the back end of it. And we're gonna tie our tails together in a nice double, you could even do a triple knot if you wanna be extra safe. We'll just do a double knot and I'll cut off the excess tails here. Try not to pop everything. Those are some very sharp scissors. Okay, so now we're gonna just make sure that our knots, the tie section is all hidden inside the red bubbles and round out this back tire, trying to get it in a nice circle shape. Look at that, you have made a balloon bike with just four balloons. We don't need any Sharpie art so we can afford to do you know, the tires, spend a little extra time on the tires. We don't have to get out our Sharpies and draw anything after this is done. It's done, you can hand it off and go on to the next customer. But let's work on this uh, kickstand here for just one second because it's a little bit too long right now. <laughs> So if you are in a place where you can set this down on a table, you can kind of see where a good place is. Um, if not, you can just sort of eyeball it. So I'm gonna cut it off right here. So I'm just gonna make my twist where I want it and then we'll get rid of the rest and tie that off. And if you want to, you can clean up your ends by cutting off any tails. You can cut off these nozzles if you'd like to, or you can pretend that they are streamers at the end of the handlebars, <laughs> which is just fine for me as well. Actually, that'd be kind of fun to um, put a bunch of uninflated balloons on the end of the handlebars as little streamers. 
I think that's a great idea. Now I want to try it, like some 160s. <laughs> anyway, I guess that's another video for another day because I wasn't planning to do that on this one. But that is the four balloon 260 bicycle. I hope you guys like this one. Um, it is definitely different from my motorcycle tutorial, which is very fast and good for doing line work in fast moving situations. So go check out my motorcycle tutorial if you haven't already seen that, it's, it's a staple. And now I have a staple bicycle tutorial. So we will be getting some clip art out for this guy so you can add it to your menus and be ready to party with the balloon bicycle and be ready to impress anyone who comes at you with that corny cheesy line from the movie wedding crashers okay <laughs> there we go we've satisfied all of the bicycle clown requests all right i hope you guys really liked this tutorial if you did i'd really appreciate that thumbs up for youtube let them know that we're putting out some good content over here and if you want to do balloon animals and you're brand new and just getting started with this, go check out some of my free resources. I've got a website with a page of all the freebies that I offer, things to help you get started twisting, to help you get started working, doing line work, um, shopping list and checklist and other guides that are great for newbies who are just getting into it. So go check out those freebie resources I have available for you guys on my website. And don't forget, if you are already a good intermediate or pro balloon twister and you're ready to take your skills and your craft to the next level and make money with this and start a business or grow an existing business, our Twisterhood membership is for you and we'll be opening the doors soon. Just a couple more weeks. Hang in there with me. I know we're getting a lot of questions about this. It is opening for new members very, very soon. So if you're interested in that, check out the twisterhood.com and make sure on that wait list and you will be the first to know when those doors are open and we are taking new registrations. So I hope that I'll get to see you guys, be a part of the Twisterhood and join us over there. We do stuff every single week. Um, more aimed at growing and helping you run a balloon business, but we also do some members only twisted tutorials and workshops and things like that. So hope to see you over there. In the meantime, stay tuned for next week. I have an adorable bumblebee coming out for World Bee Day. So, um, oh, side note, May is actually World Bike Month, National Bike Month. <laughs> So there's your bike for National Bike Month. Hope you guys enjoy it. I'll see you in the next one. Happy twisting, everyone. Bye-bye.